everybody, Mrs. Sizemore, Diet Coke Queen. Uh, <clears throat> new t-shirt today in honor of Mrs. Zivik. We have Baby Yoda. It's awesome. Love it. So today, I will be teaching you a little bit about what I asked you to do yesterday, which was to define all the quadrilaterals. So what is a quadrilateral? Quadrilateral is a four-sided shape. So if I wanted a definition of just what a quadrilateral is, it's a polygon with four sides. So there's my quadrilateral. Nothing crazy about that quadrilateral other than it has four sides. Now, <clears throat> the specific quadrilaterals, which I listed for you and you had to give me definitions for, started out as parallelogram, then you had rhombus, rectangle, square. And then way over here in a world of its own is trapezoid. And I'll explain why in just a minute. So the definition for parallelogram, some of you got it. It was just two sets of parallel lines. Okay. Then you go down and rhombus is two sets of parallel lines. Same thing with four congruent sides. So all the sides are the same length. Rectangle, two sets of parallel sides. You do not have to have congruent sides, but you have to have four right angles. Four right angles. And then last but not least, your square, two sets of parallel lines, four congruent sides, four right angles. So you can see that they build. Therefore, I'm allowed to say that all squares are rectangles. All squares are rhombuses. All squares are parallelograms. All squares are quadrilaterals. But I cannot say all rhombuses are squares because you don't have all of the attributes of a square in a rhombus. Now, why is the trapezoid way over here all by itself? Because the trapezoid only has one set of parallel lines. So I'm gonna draw you a trapezoid There's your one set, and then the other set is obviously not parallel. How do we define parallel lines? Generally, we use these little things called tick marks, like that, that says that they're parallel. Okay, my dog's making crazy noises over there. So, I just wanted to go over the difference between all five of those quadrilaterals. You could, you're gonna see several different diagrams as you investigate more into quadrilaterals where it's gonna have quadrilateral, it's gonna have all four, uh, parallelogram, rhombus, square, rectangle, and then over here, trapezoid is always gonna be by itself because it stands alone because of the one set of parallel lines. I know what that noise is. It is my dog eating chicken alfredo out of a dish that is on my coffee table. Okay, um, last but not least for today is, tonight's homework's just gonna be a review and you can read that, it'll be on your Canvas page. And then starting tomorrow, we're gonna go back into unit six and do some investigating on a little bit more about why we have all these graphs, where graphs come from, not so much the kinds of graphs, because if you recall, we went over box and whisker plots, line graphs, bar graphs, histograms, all those things that we did. We need to talk about where do they get their information from. So that's going to be tomorrow's lesson. Um, so I'm getting back a little bit into chapter six. There'll also be some review. I'm going to put you on Dreambox because I haven't done a whole lot of that recently. And we're going to continue to work on unit two. Um, they told us today to review some rate and ratio. So I'll get you back on math snacks as well. But... Yoda is signing out, Diet Coke Queen. Stay safe, guys.